Today we are going to make a shoe shelf with a macrame curtain. We'll get to the macrame in a bit, but first let's tackle this shoe shelf. I started by ripping my plywood to the appropriate widths. I measured on both sides and whipped out my circular saw to make the cuts. I ripped two sheets of plywood to the same width. This will serve as the side panels. I then cut them to length. The top and the bottom shelf share the same measurement, so here I am making two cuts for that. And then cutting more plywood for the rest of the shelves. I made these shelves about an inch and a half shorter. The reason is because I wanted to make room for the macrame curtain that we will be making later. You'll see what I mean once we get there. I used my chop saw to cut out supports that will be screwed on to the back. I also used my chop saw to cut out some feet for the bottom, but I totally forgot to record it. I used my orbital sander to clean up all the pencil marks. The macrame curtain will be hanging from a dowel, so I drew a circle that was the same size on the plywood, and then I drilled through both sheets using a Forstner bit. Now, this glue up was a little bit of a struggle, as you are about to see my failed attempts. After much trial and error, I finally found a way that worked for me. A speed square was really helpful in making sure all the shelves were straight. I also cut out 2x4s to act as spacers. I'm hand sanding the inside pieces because I know it'd be difficult to get to it once it's all glued up. To finish up the shoe rack, I applied some glue in the oddest way possible and then I sandwiched them together. I popped in the last piece of plywood and then I clamped everything together. I pre-drilled and screwed the supports onto the back. I really wasn't concerned about the screws being exposed in this design because you really won't see them anyways. This was not the smartest way to screw on the feet. If I could do this again, I would attach the feet to the bottom panel first and then glue it onto the bottom of the shoe rack. Just a little heads up so you can do a better job. I laid down some towels to protect the plywood and then I did some final sanding. I did a little test fit and then I marked where I needed to cut. I left about half an inch on both sides. Once the dowel was set, I used my orbital sander to sand it flush. I finished the plywood with two coats of polycrylic. To make sure I don't run out of rope, I need to measure each strand. I first measured the length and then I took a piece of rope, folded it in half, and matched it six to seven times. Six was actually a little much for me, but it really depends on your design. The more knots, the more rope you'll need. Now, there are many different knots that you can use to macrame, but I just chose to stick with a square knot to not overcomplicate things. I started with four strands of rope, and then I took one of the side ropes and placed it on the center. I took my last strand of rope and threaded it from behind. I tighten the knot and repeat the process on the other side. Even though a square knot is the most basic knot, I was still able to create an intricate design that I was really happy with. This knot I'm about to do looks a little different, it looks twisty and may look like it's really hard, but it's really the same thing. I think it's easier for you to just watch me for this one. So here you go.
Now I noticed as I was getting towards the end that I kind of made the top portion pretty heavy so I left it pretty simple on the bottom and then I cut off the excess using a pair of scissors. I really like how the inset of the shelves allow for the macrame to be flush with the plywood. I had a lot of fun with this project and I'm really glad I chose a vertical shoe rack over a horizontal one because I think it did a really good job showing off the details of the macrame. For more information, click on the links in the description box. Give us a follow on Instagram if you are interested to see what project we're working on next. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Check out some of our other Dwell Made videos or some videos of my own. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.